Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video tutorial, we're going to be checking out electrons. The goal is going to be for you to be able to write basic electron configurations and also to complete orbital filling diagrams. The whole goal of both of those is to really try to express where electrons are located around a nucleus. All right, it's really just trying to express where electrons are located around the nucleus. So in order to do that, we're going to simply uh, write down a couple, a couple facts here. The ground rules for today's event is going to be number one. All right, ground rule over here. Electrons will fill the lowest energy level first. And I want to make a note, maybe you should make it too. That means closest to the, whoops, <laughs> closest to, and I want to get my pen back in a second, I'll be able to continue, closest to the nucleus. We're going to fill out areas that are closest to the nucleus first. And the real reason is simply because protons and electrons are attracted to each other and they want to be as close together as possible. Okay, that's one ground rule. We're going to fill up the lowest energy level first. The second, in each orbital, an orbital is simply a location around the nucleus where an electron is. That's all an orbital is. At most, you can have two electrons in an orbital. And we're going to draw them like this, an arrow going up and an arrow going down. The arrows are going to indicate electrons that are spinning, and they're spinning in opposite directions. And lastly, when orbitals have the chance, they're going to fill the orbitals alone first. And you're going to see that, but not right away. We're going to fill the orbitals alone first. Okay, guys, so without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it and try a couple of these. Okay, the first example says to draw an orbital filling diagram for an atom with one electron. Now, if I have one electron, that tells me I also probably have one proton. And the element that has one proton is going to be the element hydrogen. So the element we're dealing with is hydrogen. Okay, so here's hydrogen's nucleus, right here. Let's consider a spherical object, all right? 1s and 2s. All right, let's express what this is. The 1 or the 2. The 1 indicates the energy level. It also could be considered the distance from the nucleus, right? The energy level or the distance from the nucleus. Two is farther away than one. That's a higher energy level. The S that you see there, the S is simply considered the orbital. All right, so if I go back to the ground rules, my electrons will fill the lowest energy level first. And I have one electron in this case. I'm going to find this electron a home in my electron cloud. Where's it going to go? Right here. I'm going to draw it signified by an arrow. An arrow, in this case, just going upwards. So that indicates I have one electron on the first energy level in the s orbital. OK, electron configuration down here is where we uh, express where our electrons are located using numbers and letters. It's a little system that scientists use. And when I'm, I'm going to do a couple of these, and you'll probably get the hang of it. The electron configuration is simply 1, s, 1. Let's review this. 1 is the energy level. So on the first energy level, first energy level right here, in the s orbital, in the s orbital, and I note that right here, I have how many electrons? You count them, one electron, and that is what that is. So my electron configuration of 1s1 simply states I have one electron in the s orbital of the first energy level. And this is the electron configuration of hydrogen, and this over here is the orbital filling diagram for hydrogen. All right, dudes, next up, we're going to work on the top of the page here. I want to draw an orbital filling diagram for an atom with three electrons. So here I'm dealing with three electrons. I have to find the home for three electrons. In my electron cloud, which exists away from the nucleus, there's my nucleus of the atom. Let's just say it's down there. And the first energy level is the closest place I can actually put an electron. Now, from my ground rules, I do know that I can fit two electrons per orbital. And one electron is going to go upwards, and one is going to spin in the opposite direction, too, going downwards. Now, I can only pack in two there. I can't pack in any more, so therefore that energy level is filled. Now, I've placed two of my three electrons, meaning I have one more electron to place, and I'm going to place it in the second energy level in the s orbital. You're going to see I draw the electrons as half arrows. Sometimes I draw them as full arrows. The whole point is I'm trying to show that they're in motion. They're moving in a certain direction. Now, I've placed all my three electrons. Which element is this? element with three electrons and three protons is lithium. 
The next question is, what is the electron configuration for this element? The electron configuration for this element is 1, S, 2, because I have two electrons in my first energy level, the S-shaped orbital, and in my second energy level, S orbital, I have one electron. So therefore, it's a 1s2, 2s1. All right, guys, that takes care of the electron configuration and the orbital filling diagram for the lithium. Scroll down now. There's a worksheet we were working on in class today, so it matches one of the worksheets that we're working on. Here we go. I have the orbital filling diagram and electron configuration for an atom with five electrons. Now, all those electrons want to be as close to the nucleus as possible. Unfortunately, on the first energy level, there is only room for two electrons, and they need to go in opposite directions, one up, one down. In the second energy level, the same way, it can only hold two electrons. I'm going to put them both there, one going up, one going down. And I want you to see, I have now placed four electrons. I still have one more electron to place, and it can't fit in the first energy level or the second energy level, the s orbitals. I'm now going to place it in what's known as the second energy level, the p orbital. This is kind of like a suite that has three different rooms you can occupy. Well, this one's going to occupy one of them, and it's going to go like that. So the element is the element with five protons, which is boron. The electron configuration, well, maybe you want to give it a shot and press pause, and I'll give you the answer. Check it out. 1s2 for these guys right here, 2s2 for these guys, and 2p1 for those guys. So there's five electrons, five protons, it's boron. The orbital filling diagram is expressed right here. I'm trying to express my location of electrons. And lastly, my electron configuration is right there. Now let's go down to the next problem on our worksheet, which was six electrons. And six electrons, here we go, let's place them. I'm going to have two on the first energy level, two on the second, s orbital, and finally one, two more here. The electrons need to occupy these orbitals alone because they have the same charge and they repel each other, so therefore they'll occupy each orbital alone first before they end up going back. Eventually, you are going to see your electrons going in this direction also, but I need to have this whole entire row filled first. So which element is this? The element is carbon because it's six protons and six electrons, and these are literally distances away from the nucleus. That's my nucleus of the atom. I'm farther away as I go up higher in my energy levels. So my orbital filling diagram is complete. Let's work on the electron configuration. On the first energy level in the s orbital, you see two arrows, that's two electrons. In the second energy level, the s orbital, I also have two electrons, two arrows. And lastly, on the second energy level, the p orbital, I'm also going to have two. 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. And that's the electron configuration of carbon. Let's scroll down a bit to the next example that we worked on in class today, and this is the example we worked on in class today. And this is as far as class took us, so we're going to stop here. It's the one side of our worksheet we're working on. In this case, I have nine electrons, and let's place them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And place them like that, eight, nine electrons. The element is fluorine because it has nine protons. The electron configuration is going to be on the first energy level. The s orbital will have two electrons. That's these guys. That's my 1s. You can call it a 1s2. Second energy level, count two electrons. 1s2, 2s2, and finally 2p, count the arrows, 2p5. All right, guys, that carries us to the end of our worksheet we did in class today. I'll do another video for the remaining one of these, okay? Enjoy. Hope you now know where the electrons are located in an atom and be able to express them using electron configuration and orbital filling diagrams. All right, guys. Later.